Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share some advanced split screen multitasking features as well as the hidden lock window feature that only a few people know about for your Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm sure most of you guys know the basics of multitasking. This video is going to take you one step above the basics so you can enjoy your S8 even more. So let's dive in and start discovering. All right, so as you know, when you tap the Recents button over here, it brings up the multitasking pane from where you can select a window that you were working on previously. So within this window, there's a feature that is actually hidden. It's called Lock the Apps. So all you do is you tap the Recents key, this thing comes up, and then you tap the Settings icon over here, and then you choose Lock Apps. So what you can do from here is you can lock individual apps that are running in the background right now. So let me show you what that does for you. If I lock the gallery application over here, as you can see the lock symbol is now in the lock status, and then I click done, what this is gonna allow me to do is when I click close all applications, it's not gonna close the gallery application that I just locked. This can be very convenient if you do need an application running in the background at all times, and you do not want to accidentally close it by tapping the close all button, uh, which appears right here. So as you can see, I don't even have the option to get rid of this thing right now. I can only get rid of it if I swipe it away, but if I tap close all, it's not gonna go anywhere. So one more time really quick, if I uh, tap the Recents key, as you can see, I can tap this, tap on lock. Let me choose Chrome this time, so I'll just lock it, click done, and when I click close all, Chrome does not go away, it stays there, even though I click the close all button, all right? but I can always swipe it away and that is going to in fact unlock it and close it. Now let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip has to do with the Recents key and uh, I wanna talk about the functions you can achieve with the Recents key if you press and hold it. So normally what happens is if you tap this, it brings up the multitasking pane and if you tap it one more time, it brings the first window that it pulled up. But you can actually extend the functionality of the Recents key. So basically what you wanna do is again, just tap it right here, go into the settings, uh, tap that button and then go into the settings. And then here it's saying use Recents button and you can enable or disable this option uh, to activate split screen view or snap window. So let me show you what it means. Let's show first uh, what happens when I press and hold the Recents key when the split screen view is enabled under this option. And here's what's gonna happen. If I press and hold it, it actually throws that window that you were looking at to the top and allows you to go into multitasking mode uh, at the bottom. So then I can either choose one of the recent um, apps that are just in the background, running in the background, or I can go to more apps and choose a different app. So I can just go like that, all right? Additionally, uh, if I press and hold this key one more time, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna activate the top app and make it full screen. So it's gonna close out the bottom app and it's just gonna make sure uh, this app expands out again. So press and hold and boom, we're back into that settings menu. And of course I can do that with any app that I please. So that's the split screen view uh, activation by pressing and holding the Recents key button. So what if I do this one, snap window? Okay, so with this one, if you press and hold, it allows you to snap a portion of that window and just uh, send it to the top. So I can choose any part of this window, and this could be a video, I could be playing the YouTube application. I'll show you an example in a second. Uh, let's just click done. And as you can see, that window was snapped to the top, and at the bottom, I can continue to play with another application. So I can, so I can just browse through this application if I so desire, but this has been snapped right in place on the top into that little section. Again, if you press and hold it, it's gonna deactivate it and it's gonna bring the snapped window back into full screen mode. And of course, if you press and hold this one more time, just one more example, you can change the size of the snap, okay? So you can have a bigger snap if you so desire. The only thing with the snap window is, if you go over here, you cannot play with it, okay? It's been snapped into place. You can play with the multitasking pane over here, but you cannot play with a snapped window. Now let me quickly show you how the snap window works when you're watching a video, which is actually the probably the primary reason it exists. So let's do a snap window here. I'm watching a video on the top. Let's bring this up here and click done. So that window, that video has been snapped into place 
and at the bottom here I can do whatever I please alright so I could be watching a video while, while making some calculations I do have access to some functions sometimes so I can actually pause the video and play the video if I really want to now like I said if you want to unsnap a window you press and hold the recents key button or what you can do is you can simply swipe this down and uh, push the calculator away and then YouTube becomes uh, the the full window and of course just so you're aware you don't have to use this functionality if you go into the settings from here and if you go to advanced features you go to multi window this is the same uh, window that we just came to so this is the one use recents button that we have been playing with you can access it from here as well okay but if you if, if this is something you do not need you don't have to use it now the next thing I want to talk about in multitasking is the pop-up view action alright so pop-up view action is a pretty amazing little trick let me show you what it does so let me go and launch the calculator and uh, let's uh, pick uh, where's that right here now this is a little application that I use all the time to make calculations so what I would like to do is have a quick and easy access to it yes you can access it through the apps and it's very easy but there's even a better more intuitive way so here's the full screen and if you enable the pop-up view action all you do is from the top corner you go like that and then that thing gets minimized okay it just stays on the screen no matter what anytime I need it I can tap on it and it comes right up I can use it and then I can tap the home button and it gets minimized and uh, the other thing I can do with this is if I tap it one more time I can actually resize it okay so it doesn't have to be that size it can be a more convenient size for you I can move it around I can uh, tap this to minimize it or if I want to maximize it I can tap this button and that's gonna maximize it also as you can see obviously there's an X button if I tap that it just closes that window very convenient option now the great thing is you can use it with multiple apps so if I go into the um, uh, let me just bring the calculator up here one more time let's uh, just minimize it for a second and let's put it aside so let's put this aside over here for later use let's say I can do uh, let's say I launch Chrome I can do the same thing with Chrome as a matter of fact so I can do that there we go there we go okay so I have two of these guys sitting right here now they get bundled together but if I tap on it it kind of kind of expands and you can pick the one that you choose absolutely fantastic okay so this is just uh, another way to enhance the use of your Samsung Galaxy S8 and that brings us to the end of this video Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech and if you want to learn more about the S8, watch all my other S8 tips and tricks videos that are loaded with rich information. And of course, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.